All right, how's it going? Today is the day I'm gonna win on this shifter on this thing. I like the way it kind of looks like a four-speed shifter handle. Uh, I like the location. It clears my seats. So today's the day. I'm gonna make this thing functional. I'm gonna make it usable. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it. Okay, so check it out. This is how the shifter works. See the, the detent right here. Uh, and then it's just smooth. There is no detent for any of the gears. So there's reverse. And you can hear it click through each one of the gears. Okay? Uh, the only thing keeping it in the detent is the transmission, really. Uh, it's clicking through the gear on the transmission. And of course, it has one for park. So I am bound and determined to modify this thing in such a way that uh, I can use it to have positive stop on my gears. Uh, mainly for one, two, and then two, three shifts, and then to keep me from going into neutral. All right, I'll show you how I'm gonna do it. So this thing right here might be the trick. So you can see I tried to build myself a replacement for this bracket here. I goofed up, but what I did is I made my, uh, the groove where the, where the shifter locator rides. I just, I made it with too much variation as far as up and down, and my spring in this thing isn't good. So, I'm gonna redo this piece, and I got another spring to add onto this to supplement this spring so it'll work a little bit better. All right, bear with me as we give it a shot. Okay, here's where we are now. So I took the side bracket off that shifter, as you see here. I made myself a new blank slate of what'll replace it. Bolted them together. I found a bolt that was long enough. Uh, bolted them together, and then I took my little scratcher Seeing down in there where I scratched around the outline of what the stock shifter looks like or the groove for the shifter. Uh, but you can see in here I also marked off my each of my gear detents. And ideally what's going to happen here is when I come in here, um, I want it to make it just a little bit of variation so it'll go lower. So it'll go one, two, and then pop up just slightly to get to three and then a detent back down for neutral, reverse, and park. That's it in theory anyway. We'll give it a shot, see what happens. So here's what I came up with after a little bit of work. Die grinder, drilling out my groove. Uh, that's what it looks like. Okay, what should happen is my pin will be in here like this for park. Slide in here, reverse, neutral, drive, two, one. So in theory, I can go one, two shift, two, three shift without slipping out, and then sit in neutral, reverse, park. All right, let's put it in the car, see what happens. If it doesn't work, uh, then this guy right here is going to go back in, and it's going to be crappy, and I'm just going to be frustrated every time. I okay, I don't know who else noticed, noticed my mistake, but as I match this thing up, who else didn't see this coming, huh? It's backwards. I did all my comparing my pieces back to back and lining it up exactly. This bracket has to ride like this, and my pattern's backwards for this to ride like that. But luckily, it's the same on either side for the shifter. The only thing that makes a difference is this little roll pin right there, and I can just knock that through to the other side. So I'll be able to replace it this one on this side, put it together, and we'll give this thing a shot. All right, guys, check it out. So this is the, the finished product here. You can see I added this spring in here because that seemed to be kind of the biggest issue is getting it up in the detents. But with that, you can see park, reverse, neutral, drive, two, two, and one. All right, so when we go to upshift, one, two, three, and that's a good solid detent before neutral, and then reverse park. And it's smooth on the bottom, so you can go from park all the way down to one. All right, well, what a giant pain doing that. Um, I've got more time than I want to admit into doing this project with this stupid shifter, but I think it's going to be good. Hopefully lasts a long time. Uh, I'm done though. I'm done dealing with it. 
And now it's time to move on to some more projects with the car. All right, so what did we learn from this one? Well, reviewing this shifter, uh, which I got on eBay. It's like a Mr. Gasket knockoff. It's by Racing Power Company is what this one is. Uh, here's the company, RPC. Here, it comes with these nice directions and this great template that shows you exactly where to drill the holes and where to cut, except the holes don't line up. They don't, they don't match at all what is actually on the shifter. So uh, that was one mistake learned. Another one is it doesn't have any good detents in the uh, original, this piece right here where it slides, there's no good detents. So unless you have more time than sense and wanna build something like this, it's just not, not worth it in my opinion. Uh, but I wanted an old school shifter. I wanted one that looked kind of like the four speed shifter and it had to have this bend so that it would clear my seats. There you go, there's the review of it. Uh, bottom line, I think you get what you pay for. So that's it, the shifter's in, installed. So now I got a gas pedal, a brake pedal, a shifter, steering column. Uh, I think I'm either gonna do my seat brackets next or we'll go on and we'll do the uh, back, behind the back seat where the gas tank and the battery are gonna sit. So let me know if there's something you wanna see, uh, check it out. If you have any good comments, feedback, anything, let me your thoughts, I'd love to hear. Uh, just uh, give a comment down there. Do me a favor, subscribe, check it out. I got more videos coming, tell a friend. All that good stuff. Appreciate it. Thanks. See you next time.